I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw words with the short vowel letter I. I come right here in the center and I put a dot and I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Inside this space, so I don't forget what I'm doing, I'm going to write the word short and then the letters I. And here's the little curve symbol we use to show that it is a short I vowel. I come straight up and I put a dot and from that dot I draw a curve line up and out. Come back to the dot, draw a curve line up, curve line down and leave it floating. Right where I stop I draw another curve line up and connect. Right here at the end I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, connect. Right below I'm going to draw a curve line out curve line in, connect. I come up to the top and I draw a curve line up, curve line down, come to the bottom, straight line down, straight line up, straight line down, straight line up. I come right about here and I put a dot and right about here I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, going down. And this is a fit-ish fish. And there is our short vowel I. I come down over here on the right, put a dot, and I'm going to draw a curve line up, curve line down, leave it floating, come right about here and draw a curve line up and in, out, and connect. Come down below, draw a big curve line down, over, up, connect. What do we have here? We have lips, L-I-P-S, and here is our short vowel I, lips. Now come down here, put a dot. We're going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight line over, straight diagonal up, leave it floating. Come back to the left, straight line across, connect, straight line in the center, straight diagonal out, straight line in, and if you have room, little curve line up, in, connect. Come right down here, we're going to draw it again. Straight diagonal down, straight line over, straight diagonal down, straight line, connect. Straight line in the center, straight diagonal out, straight line in, little curve line, little curve line in. We're going to put a curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. What do we have? We have ships. Ships, ips, it. And there is our short vowel I. Come all the way over here to the left, put a dot. From that dot, we're going to draw a pretty good size circle. Come over here, put a dot. We're going to go one, two, three, curve line, connect. Put a dot. One, two, three, curve line, connect. Come over on the left, Curve line in, connect on the left, curve line in, connect on the right, slightly curve line, connect. Come up a little bit, put a dot, we're going to draw an oval, two baby circles, dot, dot. On the right hand side, curve line up and out, wavy line in, on the right, curve line out, in, connect, on the left. What is this? This is a pig. Pig. 
There's that short vowel I. Pig. Okay? Now, come right over here. Put a dot. Draw a pretty good sized circle. Come up to the top. Curve line, curve line. Curve line out, in on the left. Curve line out, in on the right. Straight line down, curve line over, straight line up, connect. One dot, two dots, little straight diagonal up and down, big curve line, little curve line, little curve line. Come all the way up to the top, wavy, wavy line, jump over, wavy line out, in, connect. Come back up to the top. Wavy line over, jump over, wavy line, connect. Now I'm going to put some freckles. One, two, three, four, five little dots. Okay, what is this? It's a kid. Kid. And there is our short vowel I. Now, I'm not going to forget this time. Put a little dotted line all the way around the edges of your paper so that you have a little border. And this is because you can hang this up for a chart or it finishes your edges if you want to make this into a book. Okay? All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, first I'm going to start with my kid. And I'm going to give my kid orange hair because my kid is a ginger. It means they have red hair which I think is nice for a change. Then, if you have multicultural crayons, I'm going to give my kid, kid, some face, facial color. I think this is apricot. And I'm going to use my blue-green turquoise for my bow. Kid, kid. Next, I'm going to do my fit-ish. I'm going to do the face yellow. Now you can do this fish any colors you want. Just make sure you don't lose your drawing. I'm going to do the top fins green, tail green, bottom green, and just for fun I'm going to give the rest of the body a purple body because I want to. A little pop of color. Next, lips. If you have red, you can use red. If you have pink, you can use pink. If you have multicultural crayons, you can use those colors. I use pink. It's your choice. Next, my ships. Okay, I did my ship yellow. And again, you can color these any way you want. Did my ships yellow and my flags red. Just again for another pop of color, but this is your choice. And finally, my pig. Pink ears. You could do him any color you want also. Pink little baby circles. He's got little black hooves. Okay, and a light brown, not too dark, light brown color. And as always, you will do a way better job coloring than I am right now. Okay, don't color so dark you can't see your little faces. That's the only thing I would say. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my short I vowel words. Kid, fish, lips, ships, and pit. Okay, bye-bye.